Hey everyone, it's Real Beliefs, and here's Grom a special character if you go buy a copy of The White Dwarf or a code from a Games Workshop store. On a meta level, Grom is meant to represent The White Dwarf magazine, which was rebooted like what, around 2014? But in the universe, he's meant to be a mysterious character, the equivalent of the Green Knight for the Bretonians, but here he's for the dwarfs, and he appears whenever they're beset by great danger and trouble. He's got a flowing white beard, he's a mysterious dwarf warrior. There's a a little bit of a speculation going around that he might be Snorri Whitebeard, and I remember reading the books about this too. Snorri Whitebeard was a great friend of Malekith before he became a big evil fellow. And they were best friends, they would go hunting and they would have a great time. And Snorri was the High King of the Dwarfs before the War of the Beard. And so they would make an oath that the Dwarfs and the Elves would be friends forever. Which didn't turn out to be the case because Malekith would cause a great war between the elves and the dwarves at a later point. But because he broke that oath, Grombrindal came back. That oath and his anger about that was so strong that he was hauled from the dwarf afterlife back here to go fight. So yeah, he's a super dwarf in that sense. I mean, he had a grudge where, you know, he was screwed. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to come back and help out my people. All right. Let's go ahead and check things out in battle after we look at his new abilities. He's got a flash bomb that will give you minus 34 melee defense to your opponent, minus 76% speed decrease to any opponent, which is really incredible. So, I mean, if you have like a mounted unit coming nearby, he's going to take him out and it gets rid of leadership. The duration, almost half a minute. Effect range, 30 meters, okay. And apparently it's an area of effect, which means that it's not only targeting one opponent, it's targeting multiple in that area. That's even more powerful. I thought it was only one, but no, it's multiple. Grombrindal has no fear. He's unbreakable, an actual tabletop effect that he does have. So that's pretty cool, too. All right, that affects all allies in range. The dwarves are strong as they are right now. Imagine making them unbreakable for a period of time. It's map-wide. That's incredible. So, I mean, if you're at the very end of a battle and Grom is still here, bam, you trigger that... You're going to be in a good place. All right, let's go over here to items that he's able to pick up. We've got the Rune Helm of Jufar, and that affects all allies in range. Hit points greater than 50%. They get 16 more leadership. You're kidding me. They have even higher leadership now. Again, that is amazing. Yeah, on the tabletop, I believe that is a talisman that will give all fleeing dwarf units within 12 inches or a foot of the wearer, and it will automatically rally them. Okay, then we have over here a Rune Axe of Grombrindal. We're looking at a self boost that will give him a 18 to his charge bonus and 24% to his speed. Imbued effects, discouraged, minus 16 leadership. Okay, so he'll lose a little bit of leadership. Okay, that's a little bit weird. I'm assuming that that applies to him or maybe to your opponents when they hit him. Imbued effects, huh? Yeah, I'm assuming that applies to your foes. All right. Let's go ahead and go over here. Yeah, I doubt that would debuff you. It's just kind of a weird phrasing. Let's go into battle and find out how cool he is. I'm excited to have him. The dwarves are awesome. The orcs are awesome. The latest DLC has been my favorite. I've been playing that campaign. You guys have seen like the fun. And I've been having a great time. I've been sure to avoid mods to potentially break my diplomacy. But I've been having a great time. All right, let's go set up our army. Then we'll go look at our good buddy. All right, so we have iron breakers who are going to be there to form a great... Dwarfin shield. I have to be careful. I can't say Dwarven. Gotta be Dwarfin. We're not in Lord of the Rings right now. Okay. We have our Rangers over here. We're gonna have our Longbeards. Now, here's an incredible unit on a side note. The Old Grumblers. You get 30% more vigor for all of your units in radius. That is really incredible. I'm gonna let you know why. If you're fighting a long battle and they come along and they restore your vigor, they're gonna be fresh. It's really powerful. I love it. All right. Let's go over here now. Get everyone all set up. If I need to reinforce, okay, I have nearly everyone armor sundering. We have our artillery. We have all our heroes in the front lines because Grumbendal is going to charge right in. Let's begin our battle and go check him out right now. We can finally go look at him. Oh, yeah. Look at that beard. He looks angry, right? He's like, Malekith, how dare you? I know, I can't help it. I've got to do a Dwarf Force. Okay, if we look at it now, it's a one-time ability, which is logical. I wouldn't want that to be an ability that you could use over and over and over. That would be weird. But here they come right now. They're coming to me, and then we're going to watch Grom go fight. Let's go look at his stats real quick. We've got 525 for weapon strength, 
45 for a charge bonus, melee defense 40, 78 melee attack. He's gonna hit like every time. 109 for leadership, armor 120. Wow. That guy is gonna be incredible. I don't even know how he'll work in multiplayer yet. I'm gonna try him out probably for the next week. But that is crazy. Man, they weren't kidding about him being a badass, okay. They made sure to go down that route. Scar stick, I don't know if you're gonna make it, pal. I don't think you are. It's just not gonna go your way. All right, let's get all these guys together real quick. We can jump into battle right now. We don't need to be here for too long. Just need to show off a battle. Man. Yeah, like over here we could use that flashbang if I wanted to. Oh, it's an area of effect. Okay, my bad. I actually didn't know that. I thought maybe I could throw it, but no, it's all around him. Let's go charge in now, iron breakers and all. We've got our other warriors moving in. We've got everyone just trying to go do their thing right now. All right, I want two of you. It's not gonna be my best battle. Just kind of meant to showcase things. Let's go after these archers real quick. And then I wanna zoom in on our main character. He's right over here, fighting. Hold on, let's get him over to the war boss. Look at that hammer. I cannot believe the damage he's able to do. That is really an incredible amount of damage. He's gonna take out any leader relatively easily. He's got such a high amount of armor. Okay, discourage. No, 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 that does apply that effect to his weapon. So he can further decrease their leadership and make people break quickly. His items are well worth bringing. Okay, even then, he just went in and destroyed them. Let's go fight some black orcs maybe. We'll use our new ability for fun. Yeah, you can see them all. Rise up. I'm not going to micromanage too much. I don't want to end a battle too quickly. I want to watch them fight. So we'll let them just do their thing for now. And he's in. The black orcs are in trouble. I feel bad for them. Immediately, he's launching into battle. He's got a faster and I think a better attack animation than Ungrim. I think that is my issue with Ungrim. He's able to last, but he doesn't really get a lot of kills. I've never gotten like a lot of kills with him, even on a campaign. It's been like so-so. But here, Grombrindal. That's what I'm talking about. Here's the quality of DLC that I'm loving. Like the one for the dwarves, for the greenskins. And having a new factions has been incredible too. Having new goals for them, having a new location for them. There's so many things to do in Warhammer Fantasy that you gotta do it. You can't just like stay in one place. No, you gotta be all over the map. There's so much there, so much lore and stories, over 20 years worth, which is incredible. I'm very passionate about my Warhammer, man. I've loved it for so many years and I get excited. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm just letting him fight. We're letting him fight right now. Let's go check it out real quick. I don't care who's losing. He's killed 16. He's fighting Black Orcs. Let's kind of keep that in mind. Armor piercing pretty brutal. But no, he's got a lot of handy tools. The cooldown, you know, it's going to be pretty long. A bang, a flash. The foe stagger slowly and blindly whilst you take full advantage of your disarray. It's like a ninja, white dwarf. And over here we've got that cool charge bonus and speed boost, which for a dwarf leader can be quite handy. Want to travel around. But there's good old Grom. Grom Brindal. There we go. But yeah, when you betray a deathbed oath with, with a dwarf, he might come back from the freaking dead, right? And that's what happened to Grom Brindal. He's like, Malekith, come on, if that is true. If he is, in fact, Snorri Whitebeard, which we can kind of believe, I can believe that. Doesn't need to be true, but I can believe that. But yeah, if you don't know who the Green Knight is, he's a character that comes back whenever the Bretonians need help. He'll also test a questing knight to see if they're worthy of becoming a Grill Knight, and I talk about his lore in my little Bretonian campaign. It's really great, great stuff. I mean, that comes from Arthurian legend, of course, directly from it, the Green Knight. Actually, the symbolism of the Green Knight is kind of a, of a prevalent motif all throughout history, but the Crimson Killers are here. He's still going for it. Let's go ahead and buff him up. Use our beautiful, and look at that. Our flash bomb is now here, so now we have a lot of help. Let's go help out now. Let's get everyone to go help out. There we go. He's got 48 kills. We're getting everyone to come in to help. 
right, let's let him do that for a little bit. Now I do need to manage a few things around here. Let's go after these archers. Rangers, once you go after these archers over here, who's being killed? You're being killed by some black orcs. Understood. Everyone's moving in. We're going to have bombs moving in. Thanes are moving in right now. Everyone is converging on one location to help out Grombrindal, who's in the middle of it, fighting everyone. And I mean everyone. Okay, let's get rid of our satchel throwing. We just need to get them into the melee fight. Powerful leader, but we can't just have him going in there alone. That would be terrible. He's been fighting a long time. 60 kills now. But no, definitely a very cool hero. And I like how, you know, he's named after the White Dwarf and all that. I find that very cool. I like little things like that. Just because they're entertaining to me. That's what I get for not paying attention. We killed the enemy lords and now it'll all be over. The battle is over and we now know a little bit more about Grom, how he works in battle. I'll be using him in multiplayer, trying to find builds to work around him. And if you look at that, 72 kills and he fought Black Orcs like almost the entire time, which is crazy. He could definitely take out enemy leaders too. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I love how angry he looks. He's like, this is the most dwarfy dwarf that you can even look at, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below. There will be more content. I do appreciate you watching my video. Leave a like, comment down below what you would like to see. And as always, until then.